name is Ishan Gupta and my roll number is 20MT10028. Let me introduce you to our DIY group project which we have made as a traffic light with ultrasonic sensors. As you can see this is here is an Arduino board and this here is an ultrasonic sensor which we have used. This is the breadboard which we have two green LEDs, two yellow LEDs and two red LEDs. We have connected the breadboard to a 5 volt supply through the Arduino and then we have connected it also to a ground using the Arduino. We have connected two wires to the breadboard from the ultrasonic sensor and we have connected it to the Arduino to a particular plug and sockets. We have connected the LED lights to particular pin numbers which we have used in our code so as to control the traffic light. Now let me start the simulation. Now as soon as someone is away very far away the traffic light is green for the roadway the upper part and the lower is the crosswalk which is red as soon as someone comes near the sensor the traffic light blinks to yellow and then goes back to red again now we will give some time for someone to cross the crosswalk and then again after some time it will turn back to green and red and this will keep on happening again as someone comes near the road crosswalk, the sensor and this C, the light turns back to red and green and as soon as someone moves away, again it will go back to green and red. Thank you. I am Anish Kumar Aman, my roll number is 20MT10009 and I will be explaining to you the code which we have used for our project. So as you can see here we have used two integer variables namely distance threshold and cm which we have both in initialized to be zero the function of whose will be clear to you when we go through the code here we have another function which is read, read ultrasonic distance it has two parameters integer trigger pin and echo pin the trigger pin is the pin which we have used in arduino for the triggering mechanism of the sensor which will emit the sound and the echo pin is the pin which will receive the sound uh, from the sensor after it has bounced off from an obstacle after being emitted by the transmitter so here here is the whole code it delays and uh, high and low the trigger pin is set which emits the sound and then echo pin receives in the input so here the return pulse in function what it does, it does is that it returns the time in microseconds in which the sound has received is received by the sensor after being bounced back after being transmitted by the emitter here is the void setup which, which we have initialized various pins which we will use for the simulation of traffic light and we have used LEDs from 2 to 7 the pins we have used. Here is our main code where we have set the distance threshold to be equal to 15 cm which can be different for practical purposes but for simulation we have kept it to be 15. Here is CM which we have used that variable and we have initialized with 0.01723 into read ultrasonic distance via pins 12 and 8 so what it does is that the read ultrasonic distance as we have explained it returns the time in microseconds and this 0.01723 is the conversion factor which will be used to convert the time into the distance in centimeter which is of our practical use so here we get that now there is a logical function if centimeter is greater than the distance threshold that means the obstacle is far away then the normal function will go on like the 7 and 2 pins which we used for the green for the traffic and red for the pedestrian will be glowing but if the centimeter is less than distance threshold that is if something is near the sensor so our process will begin what will happen the 7 and 2 pins the green for traffic and the red for pedestrian will get blue then it will blink it will get high for 500 milliseconds then again it will get low so it will blink for two times as we have done the coding here after the second time the blink is over the six and three pins which is for the yellow light for both the traffic and the pedestrians will glow for three seconds that is 3000 milliseconds after that the six and three pins will get low and the pins four and five will get high which is green for the pedestrian and red for the traffic which is going so that will stop the traffic and for 10,000 milliseconds it will go that means for 10 seconds the green light will be on for the pedestrian and it will be red for the traffic so that the pedestrian can safely cross after that it will get low and a normal function will resume
Hello, my name is Rian Biswas with roll number 20MT10047. I will be giving the practical demonstration of this project. So over here, we can see there are two sets of traffic lights. This one over here is resembling the pedestrian traffic light and this one over here is resembling the roadside traffic light. Over here, we can see there is an ultrasonic sensor. There are six 220 ohms registers so that there is no excess flow of currents into the LED bulbs. The Arduino has been coded as per the code shown by Anish Kumar Aman. Now let us provide power to the Arduino. Okay, so after providing power, we can see that over here the pedestrian in the pedestrian side the red LED is glowing and for the roadside crossing the green LED is glowing. So the logic is that when there will be nothing in front of the ultrasonic sensor the pedestrian side will always be red and the roadside crossing will always be sorry the roadside traffic will always be green. Now let us imagine that this toy over here is a pedestrian and it wants to cross this road. So what will happen as soon as it will come in front of the ultrasonic sensor the red will turn to yellow and the green will turn to yellow and then to red for the roadside traffic and red to yellow to green for the pedestrian traffic and after it has turned to green the pedestrian will cross the road it will remain green for some amount of time providing it the um, providing the pedestrian the amount of time required so that it can cross the road safely and also it the sensor has been coded as such so that it will this it will only sense something when it is within 15 centimeters of range from the sensor it can be increased as per the application of practical purposes now let us bring this pedestrian close now as soon as it comes in front of it the LED is blink now it turns to red it has been green for the pedestrian and red for the roadside so let us cross the road now now as said it will remain as such for some amount of time and after that it will again reset back so that's it for the ultrasonic sensor based crossing traffic light thank you